Good evening. We're pleased to be here today with the Child Cancer Fund at the Premier Wine Extravaganza at One Ocean. I've got Mr. J.F. Kernan with me this evening, and we'll be asking him a couple of questions about the Child Fund and see what we can get and for, learn some more things. Mr. Kernan, Hi. thank you for coming. We really appreciate it. We well, appreciate just all you're doing. Good. We just wanted to get a couple of bits of information about okay. the Child Cancer Fund. Um, can you describe the mission of the Child Cancer Fund for us? Sure. We're, we're trying to help uh, families who are facing a childhood cancer diagnosis in Jacksonville, Florida. We help any family who's treated in the Moore's uh, Children's Clinic. Um, and each year there are 125 new diagnoses just in our area. So there's, there's a lot of, need, lot of need out there. I was reading a little bit about uh, the fund, and I noticed that it said it was a grassroots organization uh -huh. from 1994. Yeah. Was it really a grassroots organization? Was someone just sitting around and said, we really need to support each other? No. So what happened is, it, really in, in the mid-90s was when the first cutbacks in health care happened. And there's a very special position that helps the kids so much. It's called the Child Life Specialist. Actually, Jolly Craver, the Child Life Specialist, is, is here today helping us. And they lost funding for that position in 94. And so a group of doctors asked, uh, asked some parents at the time um, if they would create a, create a fund to help support that position. And so that's how it started, just parents, their kids in treatment, they knew they needed this position and they uh, started raising it 15 years ago. And we've expanded since then. That's wonderful. I do see that there's a lot of uh, physicians, medical companies, uh, other forms involved in the, in the program. Mm -hmm. Do they continue to come on board? Do you see that grow? Yeah, we're, we're continuing to see support, although these are tough times, and uh, you know, we, we first experienced it when, when our daughter was diagnosed in 97, and the, the, the tragedy of childhood cancer is, is obviously there, but the good is that so many good organizations in Jacksonville help out, so we, we help with non-medical needs, uh, but there are so many organi other organizations, so it's really a, a, a mosaic of, of groups helping, helping these families try to get through just a, a horrible time. And what is your, obviously you have a personal piece of this as yeah. well, what inspires you about this fund? Um, what inspires me is, is the courage of the kids because you, you, the, 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 the things they go through would bring an adult to their knees mm -hmm. and yet they always have a smile on their face, they're always going forward, they just want to be normal. And when you, when you face that much, when you see that much courage in, in the face of that much adversity, you just have to you have to reach out and help. It's mm -hmm. just you can't feel sorry for yourself. Nope. Right. That involving the Jacksonville community. The Jacksonville community obviously supports you as well. Mm -hmm. How do you see that growing, and how is that working for you? Well, so we're at one of the the premier events, and we're trying to grow this. So our partnership with Premier Beverage has just been phenomenal. It's helped taking us to the next level. Uh, we're also have expanded our board. We've almost doubled in size in the last year, and so those people bring on more people. We've got some other dinners associated. We've got a golf tournament coming up mm -hmm. in the spring. And, and each year we try to do a little bit more, do a little bit better. And uh, in, the, in the last six months, we've invested in, in some grant writing process. So we just keep trying to grow. And uh, you know, it's, these are tough times, mm -hmm. and uh, as everyone knows. Uh, but then the need keeps getting greater. The, the deductibles the families have to pay are greater. Um, the, the job, they may have a parent that loses their job. So it's, uh, it's tough, but we just keep plugging away with some people who really, really care. But part of that is, how do I get involved? I am a parent of a child that's needing treatment. Yeah. Do I have somebody there? How yeah. do I get involved? How can they help me out? Well, one of the things we do is we, we create a booklet for parents when you first get diagnosed, when you first have the diagnosis. So you get a, a booklet that lists all of the resources. It's, it's from the Child Cancer Fund. It's got brochures about your child's disease, contact names. So, our, the position we fund, the Child Life Specialist, is actually there in the clinic being with your child every day they're going through treatment. So they find out about us there and, and, and then the services come. Um, for financial assistance, we work through the social workers. Uh, again, through the social workers, again, for our weekend away for the families at Boggy Creek. So it's, oh. we're, we're very, very integrated with, uh, with the clinic. So it's a one-on-one -on -one experience for these parents when they're going through this and the children as well. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the thing that um, we, we, we the, the best marketing tool we have is to bring a potential donor to on a tour of the clinic and they can see, uh, see this child life specialist interact. And you take a child who's just traumatized um, and then she puts them at ease, she helps them, and, and really children express themselves through play. Right. And so she is a critical part of the medical team because she can see things, she can interact with kids where a doctor or a parent, they wouldn't open up to, but they open up to Jolly. 
the growth of the Jacksonville community and obviously the healthcare industry in Jacksonville is mm -hmm. going to really start as we read about that in the yeah. papers and we yeah. read about that everywhere. How do you see that helping you out? Well, it's, it's, it's given us a broader reach and we hope that will broaden our donor base. But for example, the, uh, the, the, the Nemours Children's Clinic has had several significant advancements uh, they are now the, uh, an authorized stem cell transplant. They treat the, uh, the, the proton therapy or the, um, at, at Shands, the mm -hmm. children for their oncology yes. come in. Yes. So it's actually, it's, on the one hand, it's caused more demand because there are more kids coming in. Mm -hmm. The clinic's expanding, um, and that gives us more opportunities to tell good stories to try to get more funds to help these kids. Are a lot of the children actually from the Jacksonville community, or do you see them coming internationally in yeah. with us? Well, so primarily it's Jacksonville, but they do come internationally because because of these other advancements, because it's certainly a regional center, so they come from the entire southeast region, anything south of Atlanta, north of uh, north of Orlando, come here for treatment, and then with the uh, with the with the Shands uh, Treatment Center, um, the, the there are people coming in internationally as well, and if the child is treated, the child sees the child life specialist in the moors, they're eligible for our benefits. Okay. Obviously, um, the perfect world we would have a cure for cancer. Um, what other goals does your organization have, perhaps, that can help move forward with that? Yeah. So I, one, one of the biggest things we're seeing is is what we we call the late effects clinic, and, and we funded this for a while. Times got tough; we had to cut back. But with more success of you're, you're, are you ever really cured from cancer, especially if you're three or four years old when it starts? Uh, more and more, it's called it, the the ongoing effects, the the educational, if the if the brain's been radiated or the chemotherapy, nutrition, psychological, all these things go on, and the children are, are eligible for treatment until they're 21. But bringing those resources, because insurance won't necessarily cover something two, three years out. We would love to get more involved in in the ongoing health and, and rehabilitation of the kids for their entire life. And with the ongoing efforts like that, do you see the people coming back, the parents, the children, coming back and continuing to volunteer with your organization yes, as we, a help? Yeah, we, we've just gotten some. We're looking to give back, and it's, uh, it's very rewarding. And we're trying to reach out to those kids, too, because they have special needs, and the siblings. Mm -hmm. Siblings are kind of the, the, uh, the ignored uh, um, victim of this stuff, because as your family concentrates on the child who's sick, as you need to, uh, not a lot of time for the other kids. And so. A type of this event, you have a couple. You also mentioned Boggy Creek, a camp. Is that yeah. something where they can just get away and take some time off? Yeah, Boggy Creek is in another we're just wonderful, uh, wonderful organization. It's a Paul Newman hole in the wall game camp. camp. The, uh, the American Cancer Society funds the kids to go there. Uh, but then often the siblings are a little jealous. And we give the whole family the opportunity to go for a weekend. Um, the parents get to talk to other parents and as, as a as, as a father, you don't get many chances to open up to other men, but okay. that's a really special place. That's great, and I, like you mentioned as well, you've got a golf tournament coming up. Yes, Tell us a do. little bit about that. Oh, it's uh, it's phenomenal, and, and as, as golfers, uh, the, the, the partnership with Premier Beverage is especially important to our golf tournament. Very good. Um, mm -hmm. And we've held it at Jack's Golf and Country Club for the last three years. It's, uh, you know, we, we're trying to, we really need to increase our corporate sponsorships there, but it's a great tournament, uh, well run, and uh, it's uh, the second weekend in April this year, so uh, that's our major fundraiser. I'm speaking to you and I'm listening to you and I see your passion for this. Yeah. If I were to ask you what was the one thing that makes you smile about this this organization and what you that you what you're looking for, what would you say? Um, oh gosh. Um, it comes back to the kids. Mm -hmm. It comes back to seeing the kids that uh, that are so brave and you just go, Wow, I you know, I'm 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 humbled by by the bravery of the kids. And the personal impact must be very important to you, which is yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Well, we appreciate your time. And is there anything else that you want to let us know about the fund that you? Um, mean? Well, I think you know we have a website, and obviously you found out information, and that's the great way to get started. There's, uh, uh, I, I do want to mention one other thing, and that is uh, we have established an endowment in memory of our daughter. Um, and the goal there is to create, uh, create an endowment to fund this position for perpetuity. Uh, because you know, organizations come and go, but we think the child life specialist position is so important that in addition to trying to make do with what we've got to operate on, 
we're trying to gradually grow an endowment and uh, be able to fund this uh, forever. So, Good. including, do you receive any other funding or any other support from from local organizations, or we, are you part of any uh, United Way or any programs that might help out so that we can look for other ways to assist you? Yeah. You know, so we we are a United United Way mm -hmm. charity, so you can designate funds to us through United Way, but okay. but other than uh, you know, no other no uh, no national affiliation, no uh, okay. no 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 star. Anybody wants to? <laughs> I mean, anybody who would like to. Uh, <laughs> help us out. Um, yeah, and right. you know, we had uh, we had some major corporations who were our, our, our uh, um, sponsors of our golf tournament, the the title sponsor. We've lost that, so we're kind of scrapping, but uh, we're still in there, and and the cause keeps us going. The cause sounds absolutely wonderful, and we really wish you the best of success, and we look forward to this event. Well, thank and you hope very much. To see what more can we do. Thank you. It really was appreciate such a pleasure it. meeting you. Nice to meet thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Clear.